All right, guys, I'm gonna do a quick little video on how to do an oil change on a 2004 Yamaha Wave Runner FX HO. All you need is four quarts, 10W40 Yamaha Lube, and then I get a k and filter, just a little better, and you can literally put a wrench on it. It's a lot easier to take off the filter. It is KN303, and then, Gotta pick one of these up. This is so you can run water to the ski afterwards to run it, warm it up, check your oil level. Plus I picked up one of these little oil extraction kits from eBay or Amazon. Uh, they're like $20, which is pretty neat. Just sucks the oil out right from the oil reservoir. And then we can measure and see how much I take out. And then we'll put back that much back into the ski. I forgot to show you guys uh, where this connects to. It connects right there. Just pull off that cap. Also, never leave this cap off when you take it on the water. If you do, water will come out of that and fill your ski up with water. It does have a bilge pump built in, but still, make sure that cap's back on when you're done running it out of the water. All right, got the oil pump hooked up, which is pretty cool. You just run your hose into your oil reservoir, and it tells you the direction it flows, so... This is where it sucks, this is where it comes out. And I ran it into a clear jug because then you can measure how much oil it takes out. I have it hooked up to my jump box, but you can also just literally hook it up to your battery coming from the jet ski. So, I don't know if you can see in here. I sucked out all the way down to the pump. I mean, there's, it's bone dry. I just purchased this key and uh, yeah, I only took out one and a half quarts, so it was definitely low on oil. Filter is it actually comes pre lubed already. As you can see, that ring is already oiled up, so you don't have to oil it up. But I just put a little bit of oil in here because when you tilt it, it could pour out. But just so the ski doesn't dry start for too long. All right, so I put a little bit of oil in there and I put a rag under where the oil filter sits. So when I pulled that out, it didn't make a mess. And now I'm gonna put the new oil filter on. All right, so I only took out a quart and a half. So I'm gonna put it in two quarts because it was on the low mark. And then when you're done with this, you're gonna to wanna to run the ski and double check it. But to get the most accurate reading, you need to like run it on the lake because on the hose, it doesn't heat up enough. So, and you do not want to overfill these skis. If you overfill this ski by just a little, forgot what happens, but oil, I think, comes out of the throttle bodies or something. Oil is actually up here, gets into the filter. It just, it makes a mess. All right, so since we're done with the oil change, um, another thing you want to know about these skis. So this, I don't know what you would consider it, output shaft or whatever. You want to grease it at least like once a year. Some people do it more. I would just say once a year. Uh, there's a little grease fitting right uh, there. See that? Underneath that little rubber nipple there is, a, I think it's called a Zerk fitting. And you can just pump like two pumps of grease in it. Uh, marine grade grease. And that will be greasing the bearing back here for your output shaft. Also, I always keep my battery on a little battery tender because these batteries, they die like once a year. If you don't keep them on a trickle charger, I've got them to last about two years, but that's about it. Also, if you wanna do your spark plugs, literally just unplug these, pull out your coil packs and your plugs are right under there. Very simple to do.